Philadelphia all set for baseball from the home of the Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. Tonight it's the first of four between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Philadelphia Phillies. We've got baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Number 31 gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Cain. And we are set for Lead baseball here Milwaukee. this evening. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo Cain. First offering on its way. First of four here on this Monday night as the first pitch of the game is over for strike one. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight, fellas. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little first roll pitch. here. Yeah, Maddie, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. And he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. And, and set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E-train at times. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside quarter, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Batting third. With that, here's a look at the Brewers' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Yeah, Matt, I think everyone should keep an eye on Colton Wong. He's been a catalyst for this team in the last 10 games and in so many different ways, but looking at the one number I'm looking at, a 450 on base percentage, when you have that and you have the type of abilities that he has, you're awfully dangerous. In is Christian Yelich. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. The average entering play at a cool 330. Five homers and 14 driven in. Two and oh. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Keen, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. when Yank just fouled. Now the 2 1. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. High in the air out to center field. Hazley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting four. The first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback's next. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. That's popped up. Coming on is McCutcheon. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. 
That can't bother you too bad, Dan, right there. Power guy that, at the plate, that, and you're able to get in his kitchen. Boy, that, that's a tough one to swallow, right? These Garcia. big, strong guys, they like to get their arms extended. That wasn't that bad of a pitch, but he's just so strong that he's able to muscle that into the outfield grass. So here is Abisayo Garcia, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Come set, the 0-1. Oh, that is out. his way home and the run will score as the Brewers are off to an early one nothing lead you know what that I like right there Dan is the, the batter's shot. approach not trying Ooh. to do too much just Ooh, taking yeah. it right back up to shoot again staying within himself and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him in the RBI. that's a good piece of hitting that's a great point deal I think a lot of times hitters go up there trying to do a little bit too much sometimes you just have to go ahead and hit the ball where it's pitched and a good job and a run batted in this is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Ready with the 0-1. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Adrian Hauser will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he could throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Alec Bone is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. and And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. 4-2 and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 okay. lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats. And it's working for them. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And will get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Hey, Giro, this looks like it could be a high-scoring affair. That is Home team comes up now, the and they've got field. something brewing in the bottom and, uh, of the first. Yeah, 100%. Hey, Anytime you put that leadoff batter on base, that spells disaster for the pitcher. You don't know. You can work the bunt, hit and run, steal. Oh, I forgot. They don't bunt or hit and run. Here now is Adam Hazley, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Comes set, and the 0-1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. A runner at first with no outs here. And he got him. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the that time it third. got there, it had the right fallen field. completely out of the zone. Right. Not much you can do with that. Pitch. Harper. Hit. 
And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate ball as one, the no first play. pitch sinker misses to him. It's ball one. Lifetime in this matchup. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. The 1 0. Misses ball, ball two. two. Clearly working out of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Bohm stands at first with one out. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Strike two as he locks him up there. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four seamer. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. That's back to back strikeouts now Batting as they've four. been unable to the advance that baseman. leadoff single in Three. the scoring position. Yeah, Busted. clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As he'll take a look at a curveball that drops in there on the outer half. It's strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hoskins behind to count 0-2. Swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They still trail 1-0. And now here is Manny Pena. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. First pitch on its way. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throws in time for the first out of the second. Batting it. The third base. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. Out in front of it, strike one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Ball one. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. A solo home run there for Travis Shaw. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Brewers move out in front now two to nothing. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake. And it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Into the box now, Adrian Hauser. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Segura has it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The center fielder, number six. Lorenzo King. 
So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Two out, nobody on. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. Wave dead and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance of hitting that one, and the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 2 0 Milwaukee. So now to the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. Leading off. Prior Philip history Billy. in this matchup. Not no a big fielder. sample size, 0 for Andrew. 1. McCutcheon. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Oh. Here it comes. Fouled away. Now the 2 1. A bouncer up the middle, taken in by Wong, and a good throw gets him one gone. That is it. Not sure. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And let's take a look at Kristen Yelich, former Gold Glove winner in 2014. Covers a ton of ground out there and don't test the arm. Here's Didi Gregorius. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The numbers, 282 to start play, three homers and 16 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Bounce it to the left side. Shaw loves it. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Batting seven. The catcher, JT. Real Muto. Digging in next, JT Real Muto. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. First offering on its way. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. If he's able to dot that sinker down and away and execute that pitch all day, you're going to see a lot of weak contact, and the infield defense is going to be on its toes. Real Muto behind with an 0-2 count now. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail things here, two to nothing. Set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. For me, this is an important add on okay. inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury something. One ball, no strikes to count. That's by him for strike one. One ball, one strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And the pitch. Still one and two.
swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Real Muto goes to get it, and the throw is in time. One, retired, and there's one away. So next to hit is Christian Yelich. He flew out in his last A.B. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. All one, no touch. One out, nobody on. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The 1-1 home. He swung on and missed one for ball. strike number two. two Trying to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. There's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw the right there. Pitcher. Pitchers work Game around over. them and nibble the corners Over a lot back. more so they don't get burnt. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So the next to bat will be Daniel Vogelback. One for one with a single so far. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Vogelback. Native Floridian. He was taken in the second round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. A ball and no strikes, here it is. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball, one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Up next to Milwaukee, the right fielder, Abisail. Garcia. So now into the box is Avisail Garcia, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First delivery to him. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Hit on the ground is short. Gregorius is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Milwaukee leads one, but they're on top two to nothing. Digging in will be Gene Segura as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The second baseman. And now pitch on the way. Segura. That's a ball. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. Now here's the pitch. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup had been the swinging pitcher. at anything close. This guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with a base on balls. That was a good at bat. So next to bat will be number 31. He's ready for his first A-B here in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Only two plays to first, so the pitcher does his job. It's a successful sacrifice. Now back, the third baseman, Alex Bohm. Now at the plate, Alex Bohm, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much control the whole out up until this point. Here it comes. Cool, the 1 0. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Now batting, center fielder. Adam Paisley. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and Adam Paisley digs in now. First pitch of the AB now. Swing and a miss, 0-1. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Segura at second with two down. And it's quickly 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. So he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Philly strand one. They're down two to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And stepping up is the one. shortstop, Luis Urias. Luis now the first pitch. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one two. Oh, that's out. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Luis Urias pitcher, goes quietly nine. leading off the fourth. Standing in now, Manny Pena. As he will look what at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's 1 and 1. Lifted in the air out to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now battle. The third baseman. Travis. Jones. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. The 1-0. -oh. 
Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The relay. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's in the second base with a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one. But I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. To the plate now, Adrian Hauser. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. That evens it up one and one. Two runs, five hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. This is lifted in the air out to left. Coming on is McCutcheon. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Two out double left stranded. We're back in Philadelphia right after this. Stepping up is Bryce Harper. He's over for one thus far. Billy, the right fielder. Right. field shifted well to the Harper. right. Here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And that's through for a hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy now swinging that. first pitch. The first Not one of the things you want to do, Debo, is you have to try to get ahead with Oscar. the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits. But hopefully he can minimize the damage here. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, oh, Reese Hoskins. Ball one to start the at bat. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least bell high. Now the one and one pitch. Just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. From the stretch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now a throw over to He's first, and the runner back easily. And again a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on it. Shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 3 2. Hammered the other way to deep right field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. 
Boy, that's field field number is an absolute missile. And yeah, through. man, you can't fault the outfielder Mark too much Hudson. either. The line drive was hit right at him, and I think it took a minute to gauge where it was going. So I think he misjudged it a bit. The end result, the ball gets down, and the hitter is standing at second base with a solid double. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First delivery to him. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2 1 now. Now he's has to hit him right there. Kept his shoulders he square, did. his hands inside the baseball, Red and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. And their runners at the corners now. The 1 0. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Two balls and a strike. Oh, even now, two and two. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Full count, here it comes. Hit in the air down the right field line. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Runners are at first and third with none out. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. And the first but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Now batter. The catcher. JT. Next here Muto. is JT Real Muto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0. Swing and a high drive. Get up, baby! Get up, baby! So a two-run homer down the line and left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And it's given the Phillies a four to two lead. Hey, as a pitcher, when you see one that's hit high and deep, you hope that it goes foul and it hits off that foul ball and makes that doink noise. You want to cry. As a hitter, you want to smile because you were able to keep one now just there. Second and that'll bring up Gene Segura. Gene. 
swing and left the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Now here it comes. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Well, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Now that Next number up will 31. be the Phillies pitcher, number 31. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. Owen won the count. will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he is in the second with a two-out double. You can relate, Dan. Yeah, so what's going through the, the third base mind right now? They've had some good at-bats against him Whoa. all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. That brings up Alec Bohm as he'll fall behind here as he goes after a fastball that might have been out of the zone at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. He certainly has an open base down there but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. Now the one and one pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Wrong is there. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On to the top of any number five we go. The Phillies lead it four to two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. The All right, years. thanks, Heidi. Lorenzo... First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey. The windup and the 0-1. That's a ball. Drill down the line. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. Now that you never want to be the pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Here's Colton Wong now. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Liner towards second. 
in there, the base hit. The left fielder, number 22, Christian Miller. Here's Christian Yelich now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1 0. Hey! Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. One and two for Christian Yelich. One ball, two strikes, Cam. Hard hit at third. Field it cleanly. There's one. On the first to complete the double play. Now that now what you expect from a three-hole hitter when the first two guys get on base, Vogel that's back. pretty deflating. But now we'll see if the cleanup guy can still pick up the runner at third. At the plate, Daniel Vogel back. And she'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He laid down a sacrifice bunt in his last trip. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Swing and miss as he pulls the top hand over, it's 0-2. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back-to-back -back singles to the first two batters. Vogel back behind the ball in two strikes. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. Brewers strand one. They trail here four to two. Now into the box, Adam Hazley. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the Born rewind Philly. button on that last the inning. Center fielder. No doubt about that. Adam. That was a really rocked Hazley. frame. Hazley. But clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey, after starting the game over two with two punch right outs, that Number single three. had to feel good right there. Right. Nice piece of hit. Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, hits ball one. A hit and two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ball two. ball two now. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance, of feeling good about his effort tonight. This pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Two balls and a strike. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The 2-1. This one's down to third. Shaw has it. One there. On 
to first, and that takes care of Harper as well. It's a double play. That's a great now example there of why the, the first sinker baseman. is such an effective Three. pitch. The hitter's Austin. eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. And now, Reese Hoskins. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's one for two in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down quickly go the Phillies as they can't add to their four to two lead. So here's Abisayu Garcia, a hit in two tries for him so blue. far. The right fielder, Abisayu Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. He grounds it sharply to third. He's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, shortstop, Luis Urias. Next, it'll be Luis Urias. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. One and oh, the count. Hits are even at seven apiece. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and oh. Manny Pena will be next. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Now batting, the catcher, Manny. Next to stand in is Manny Pena. He was robbed of a hit in his last at bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah, you got to control the controllables, Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. You cannot control the defensive wizardry on the other side. One ball, no strikes to count. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. A one one. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Swing and a miss. Look like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location now was excellent it. because if it's put in play, there's Travis. a good chance it's on the ground Draw. for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. So now to the plate, Travis Shaw. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. softly to the right over to first and that retires the side Milwaukee leaves one still down by a count of four to two
Justin Topa enters to do the pitching in the bottom the of the Brewers. sixth. Number 56, Justin Topa. Now it'll be Andrew McCutcheon that lead it off as we start the home six. The left fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Count one and oh. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left-hander started to throw out there. Now the one oh. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. The Beatles run down to lead off the frame. Hey, that's a great job right there. Yeah. Knowing he had time that's to collect stop. himself, I he love did. the internal clock Red right there. Gloria. Didn't rush it, took the extra step, gathered himself, and threw a bolt to first base. Into the box now, Didi Gregorius. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Your Josh Lindblom comes in unexpectedly from the Milwaukee. pen in relief of Number his injured 29. teammate. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Here it comes. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Now JT Wilmuto will catcher. stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run. It was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch of the AB on its way. Fastball has swung on the miss. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch either. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Yelich is under it. And that ends the inning. Phillies down in order, but they still lead this one four to two. And Joe Girardi is going to get up off the dugout bench and confer at home plate, so we'll likely see a double switch here. Hector Neris is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Ronald Torres is Brewers. into the ball game as well as number he'll slide eight. into the pitcher spot, mm. hitting ninth Green now on Brewers. the double switch.
D. Strange Gordon stands in as he looks at ball one here. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. No home runs as of yet and four RBIs. The set and a 1 0 pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And it's fouled away. The 2 1 home is offered at but missed. <laughs> Now the 2-2. Hit out to a second. There's Segura. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo King. One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Kane. Now the first pitch. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Now the wall will stand. His three. career numbers against Four Hector Neris. He's one for four. First offering. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Hazlett will get there and he puts it away to Ladies retire the side. For the Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail stretch. it here four to two. Your Devin Williams please. gets the call from now the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 38, Devin Williams. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. And that'll Philip bring Billy, in Gene Segura. The second baseman. Gene Segura. First pitch on the way. The wind up and the 0-1. Nope, that's a ball. Count one and one. Two balls, two strikes. So a full okay. count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Good battle. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Oh, and he could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now batting. Ronald Torres is the next to bat. He's 
moving here in the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Now here it comes. 1 0. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. Oh. And he won't bite at that one either. Oh, it's no. 2 0. Oh. In the dirt. It's 3 0 oh now. You can pretty much look at that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order moving. Philly shortstop in front of the count, three and one. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I don't understand why he's taking. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman, Alec. So a runner at first now Whoa. with one away. And that'll bring up Alec Bohm. From the belt, kicks and deals. <laughs> Torres leads off first with one away. A ball and a strike oh, to the Phillies' leadoff man. Here comes the 1 1. Hit hard to third. Shaw fields it cleanly. Long for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Phillies go down quietly there as they can't add to their 4 to 2 lead. Archie Bradley has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 23, Archie. Bradley. Striding in is Christian Yellow for the group. It's been an 0 for 2 Yellow. effort for him to this point. Christian Yellow. First pitch of the AB now. That counts. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1 0. -oh. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Harper has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. Up next for Milwaukee, the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now here it comes. And ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. One ball and two strikes to count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And this is swung on and 
this two are quickly retired to start any number eight. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came now back with a fastball right on two and two. He was heading to count zero oh and two Garcia. earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Stepping in now, Avisail Garcia, and he puts it on the ground to second. Throw the first piece and easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still down by a count of four to two. Ladies Brett and Anderson your is on to pitch please. out of the bullpen in now the bottom half the of the eighth. Number 25, Brett Anderson. Now to the plate, here is Adam Hensley, single in his last at-bat. The center fielder, Adam Hensley. First pitch of the A-B now. And she'll come up empty that time on the sinker at strike one. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. No oh, offer sorry, on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Right fielder. Right. Harper. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. We'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. Here comes the 1-0. One and one the count now. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. The two two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The batter. The first so baseman. Here's the cleanup. Hit. Three. Reese Hoskins. Got it. Getting three at bats to this point. Now here's the first offering. Strike called. Tough to do much with that one. Hey, this guy has come in and just done his job. Period, the end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast, and this game's tied. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 
next 0-2. Grounded back up the middle. Wong has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they still lead this one 4-2. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jose Alvarado takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. And that'll bring forth Luis Urias. It was a walk in his last the trip. Shortstop. Looking for base Luis. runners here as they're down mm -hmm. playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or hey. bunch hits together off of a closer. No balls and a strike to count. Set with the 0-1. And, and boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Definitely not what you're trying to do here. 0 and 2 with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. He'll try again, 1 2. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers. And when you're losing, Manning. you can't always choose Jeez. how you get on base. But you've got to get on any way that you can. So he'll take that, even though it probably hurts a little bit. Next to hit is Manny Pena. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. First pitch on its way. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short term memory. And this situation called for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. 0 oh, 2 pitch is a curveball that misses 1 and 2. The count is 2 and 2 to the Brewers catcher. see and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch and as a closer a wild pitch is the last thing you want to do his job was to finish this thing off and he just made his job a lot more difficult we'll see if he can get dialed in again here on the next pitch Urias stands at second with no outs Into the corner and slicing foul. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. The closer is supposed to slam the door in his opponent, now but he left the door base. wide open with a walk Rabbit. there. We'll see if they Go. can capitalize on it. Stepping in next, Travis Shaw. Lifetime versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. 
become set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now this is a perfect example of why this manager feels so confident going to this beast in the ninth right here. He is throwing absolute thunder right here, pumped up, and looks the part. 0-2 to Travis Shaw. None out, runners at first and second. Way outside. One and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. First and second here with nobody out. Stays alive, still two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just wearing down as this one swung out and missed for the first out. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything possible. Your attention, please. Tyrone Taylor will be called upon here to hit with the Number game 15. on the line. Tyrone Taylor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, one, no play. The 1 0. -oh. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Two balls, one strike. Yeah. That's ball three. Three and one here. You have three to make balls, a good pitch three. on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. This is down at the knees, but call the strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. In now is Lorenzo Kane. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. The set and the pitch. Nope. And a ball 1-0. Pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Hey. In there, one and two now. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. 
to the left side, but it's well fouled. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Oh, comebacker. This could be big. They get the force at the plate. On the first. And he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. I expect this series to be a battle. So to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that home crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. Four to two with the final score tonight. The Philadelphia Phillies took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Number 31 gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jose Alvarado wraps it up for the save, his seventh of the campaign. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.